everyone, welcome back to my channel Gons on Earth. In this video, I am going to describe the uh, production function with two variable factors of uh, production or input. The uh, production function with two variable factor of production uses the concept of isocons and the isocons are uh, very much similar to the uh, indifference curve which you study in the consumer uh, analysis. What is isocons? Isocons shows different combinations of the two variable inputs and most of, of the cases we take capital and labor which gives the same level of output. So the isocons are uh, a curve which shows different combinations of uh, capital and labor which gives uh, when put it in the production uh, process which gives same level of output. What we have studied in the uh, studied in the indifference curve uh, it says that indifference curve gives the same level of satisfaction with the consumption of two goods but we are studying the production process and production analysis so we are having two inputs okay the factors of production which we uh, be converted in some output so the isocont uh, is uh, the um, low key of some uh, uh, particular amount of uh, output Use, uh, using uh, with the different combinations of the inputs or the factors of production. You will understand this uh, uh, concept by a table more clearly. Here is the table for the isocons. Uh, in the first column we can see that factor combinations and here are five combinations of uh, factors of production. Uh, A the first combination is using 1 unit of labor and 12 unit of capital and it is giving 100 unit of output. The second um, combination is using 2 units of labor and 8 units of capital. Third or the uh, combination factor combination at point C is using 3 unit of labor and 5 unit of capital D is using 4 unit of labor and 3 units of capital E is using 5 units of labor and 2 units of um, the capital ok so what we uh, observe here is that all the combinations is giving same level of output level okay so just like the indifference curve we are having the isocons which is the which is giving or showing the same level of output with using or by using different uh, combinations of the two variable factors of production and uh, why this happens because uh, like an entrepreneur or a firm has so much capital so he can um, purchase uh, big machines so he has a lots of um, uh, money to spend to buy machines he just uh, buy a big machine and hire only one labor to switch on or off the button okay so it is okay for him to have one unit of labor with <coughs> a large amount of capital okay and the last option is that it is uh, using highest <coughs> number of labor with the lowest number of capital so uh, if you are putting less capital you have to put a large amount uh, or large number of labor because uh, you need at least some amount uh, to produce some amount of capital to produce uh, or to conduct the production process you cannot just go with zero capital you have uh, you have to have something uh, uh, amount of some amount of capital so uh, this is the last uh, or the least amount of capital used by an entrepreneur or a production firm and 
uh, if you are using a um, very low amount of capital the um, uh, number of uh, labor will be increased so there is a trade off if you increase the capital uh, level you you can reduce the uh, labor units and if you increase the labor uh, you will uh, reduce the capital amount because uh, the resources are limited the uh, money or the resources for uh, uh, which a uh, uh, pr uh, producer is having is limited we know that resources are limited in the uh, economics so here is the table uh, for the isocont it will be more clear with the help of graph as nothing is clear in economics without the help of uh, graph here you can see the definition of mrts or the marginal rate of technical substitution the mrts or the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital may be defined as the number of units of capital units of capital which can be replaced by one unit of labor units of capital which can be replaced by one unit of labor and the level of output remaining the same what is what does that mean that this is the isocont maybe of 100 unit of output now if the producer decides to increase one level of labor uh, input suppose from here to here or from here to here okay from this point uh, k to l so tick so if the producer decides to increase the uh, units of labor from 1 to 2 he will have to forgo the amount of capital from this much of the magnitude say uh, m he will have to forgo the amount of capital equal to the amount of m k right because the vertical line is showing the amount of capital okay because uh, they, this is a negative uh, negatively sloping curve so there is a trade off between the two inputs we cannot increase both of the input at the same time so if one input will be increased Thus, uh, the other will be decreased and this uh, line is not a linear one it is uh, it has curvature or convex to the origin so uh, it will uh, if this curve is showing diminishing uh, marginal rate of technical substitution so here we can see the magnitude of the capital uh, unit of capital for gold is very high when the producer decides to uh, replace more of the capital unit with labor what happens we will see here now the producer moves from this two unit of labor to three units of labor he will have to forgo lo amount of capital which is less than the m k and as we can see that this vertical line will be smaller and smaller as we move towards the right on this graph this amount this line and this we can see that it is continuously becoming less and less small and small okay so uh, this is this is showing the diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution on the isocont in this uh, whiteboard on this whiteboard 
I hope you understood. And uh, uh, this is uh, shown by the formula delta K upon delta L. And we put a negative uh, uh, sign because the graph or the curve has a negative slope. The MRTS is equal to delta K upon delta L. And you can also write it as marginal productivity of L upon marginal productivity of K. Okay. How this uh, ratio came? Uh, I will show you. We, uh, when we talk about that, uh, talk about the marginal rate of technical substitution, we know that wherever we will be at this uh, line, the amount of uh, the output will not be altered. So, with, when we move, suppose uh, the change uh, by increasing one unit of uh, uh, the labor, say uh, addition in the output due to increasing the labor plus decrease or reduction in the output due to the change in the capital will be zero. Okay. If we uh, be at this point or be at this point, it will have no effect or zero effect on the output level. So, addition as we are moving from this point to this, addition due to increase in the uh, uh, one unit of uh, labor and the reduction in the uh, reduction due to the uh, uh, decreased amount of capital if we merge them together it will have uh, it will give a zero effect so we will uh, rearrange it and we will have okay so this is the same thing which we have put it uh, here I hope you understood the marginal rate of technical substitution. It is the amount of uh, or the units of capital replaced uh, with one unit of uh, labor. One more thing that these lines will not touch the axis. Why? Because if it, if suppose this line touches the uh, y axis what does that mean that you are using no unit of labor is it possible is it possible that only uh, capital will be there and low and no human um, labor is it not possible at least for now okay uh, similarly this this line uh, will not touch the x axis as only labor and no capital is it also not possible because you need have some uh, land, some uh, money to actually conduct the product, uh, production process. So these lines will never touch the axis. I will show this uh, the marginal rate of technical substitution with the table. This is the factor combination A, B, C, D, E and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here was 12, here was 8. Here was uh, I think 5, As you remember with the previous table, he was using 1 unit of labor with 12 units of capital, 2 units of labor with 8 capital, 3 labor, 5 capital, 4 labor, 3 capital, 5 uh, 4 labor 3 capital, 5 labor with 2 capital. Remember the definition of MRTS, it was the uh, amount of capital replaced with 1 unit of uh, labor. So, here you replaced 4 units of capital with 1 unit of uh, labor. Here, okay, 12. Eight. The distance is 4. Then you replaced 3 unit of capital with 
one unit of labor. And to uh, uh, next, at the next step, you replace uh, replace two units of capital with one unit of labor. And at the last, you replaced one unit of of capital with one unit of uh, labor. So you can see that the MRTS of labor for K is decreasing. That is why we say uh, decreasing or diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution. And it is because of the uh, slope and the uh, curvature of this uh, figure, the isoport. That is why we are having the diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution. I think it's clear now. There are also some important properties which I have uh, uh, mentioned earlier but it is important to keep uh, them remember. So the first is iso, uh, isocons slopes downward from left to the right. Like we know that this is left and this is right. It slopes downward from left to the right. No isocons will intersect each other like we were having a isocont map. So no isocons is intersecting each other. Like if we draw this, is it is not possible because at this point you can see that this uh, the factor input is uh, giving this uh, uh, isocont and this isocont too. So it is not possible or it is not feasible if this factor input is giving a uh, particular amount of uh, output why then uh, you need two isocons okay next convex to the origin like this is the shape of the isocon you cannot draw a isocon like this it is not possible what does it means that you are increasing um, or uh, or uh, the uh, amount of capital forgone for one extra unit of labor is increasing okay so it will negate the diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution it will show uh, increasing marginal rate of technical substitution it, it it will be uh, concave to the origin so the original form of the isocon is convex to the origin higher isocon will show higher production level like this is 100 this is 200 and this is 300 so each uh, the next level of uh, isocon is showing the higher level of uh, production uh, output level so i hope the uh, i hope you understood the production function with two variable uh, factors of production or two inputs and uh, thank you for watching my video and share it if you like my video Thank you so much.